NFL Week 8 grades, this from CBS Sports for the Browns, A+. Plus. Between Joe Flacco's performance with the Browns last season, Winston's performance in this game, it's pretty clear Kevin Stefanski's offense can work with the right quarterback, but Watson wasn't the right quarterback. Two and six, it'll be very interesting to see where this goes um, as the Browns season goes from here. And, and yeah, that's, that's fair. I, you know, the end of the game, you got the full... Jameis Winston experience. As somebody that has followed him, there's the throw where it was like, why did you do that? And, and um, Hamilton dropped the ball that was in his hands. And then the next pass was, wow, how did you do that? Right on, you know, right on the money, 46 yards, touchdown, game winner. Yeah, and you know, the Hamilton drop, obviously it's huge. It changes the game. You know, the Browns had timeouts, so maybe they get the ball back, but obviously it's a huge play in the game. Um, that was a good read. By Winston, he just made a terrible throw. He just overthrew mm -hmm. Elijah Moore by about seven yards. And there were a couple of those during the game where he mm – -hmm. that one wasn't a taking a chance. That was a bad throw. But there was a deep post to Cedric Tillman in the first quarter, I think. And yeah. maybe it was the third quarter. They were going that way. Um, and it could have been intercepted. Like, he gave Tillman a chance, but the safety came over, goes through his hands. There were a couple other balls like that, but that is how he plays. Yeah. And – you know, I think if he started 17 games for you, um, I, I don't know if that's sustainable. Kind of like Joe Flacco, though. <laughs> Joe Flacco threw interceptions. Oh, yeah. um, that's that's how they play. So after having not seen any explosive plays and no 20-point games and no 300-yard games, I, I think fans will take this type of performance.